a law enforcement officer in a small beach community. He is going through a divorce or is he carrying on an affair with a married woman that was once his high school sweetheart or is he going out of his way, even doing unethical, illegal things within his profession to help this woman who's dying of cancer or is she? An incredible tale that takes all the twists and turns of a very classic sort of mystery, but it unfolds before us in an extraordinarily insightful and satisfying way. This is 2003, Denzel Washington, Ava Mendez, John Billingsley, Dean Cain, Sana Lathan, Out of Time. What do you do with a story like this? I didn't realize until going back and finding old ones and catching up that Denzel Washington apparently headlined a movie everywhere every year or so from the late 90s on through about 2010 and perhaps after. I had no idea he was in so many films. I remembered him in Crimson Tide and other very heroic things, having seen him in Man on Fire where he's kind of a struggling a man who's going through struggles and sort of beaten down by life but recovers his heroism. But here and out of time, he is definitely a man struggling. He's an officer. He tends to drink on the job. He's not real happy that his wife has left him and they're estranged. She's going to file for divorce in the midst of our narrative. But he also is having a sexual affair with a woman that was his high school sweetheart. But her husband is not too keen about it and seems not only to suspect, but be pretty sure about it. And seeing Dean Cain from Superman, Lois and Clark, as a ruthless and abusive bad guy, and he does an incredible job. John Billingsley from Star Trek Enterprise, Dr. Phlox is in this as a bit of comic relief. Everyone does an amazing acting job for the role that they've got, and the plot is just something. It's one of those films where you're pretty sure you know what's going on, but then you don't know what's going on. Because our protagonist, Denzel Washington, he tends to drink, not like excessively, but he's really sort of disillusioned, but he's very much a beaten down optimist. He's altruistic. He wants to think the best of people. And now being estranged from his wife, he is having this affair with his high school sweetheart, trying to do so under the nose of her abusive husband, wanting to save her. And men in that situation who are beaten down by life, who aren't really paying attention, easily manipulated, especially when matters of the heart come in and especially when it fits the profile of a law officer type guy, especially he wants to be the hero and rescue her. She's dying of cancer, finds out that her abusive husband has taken out an excessive amount of life insurance on her. He's not going to kill her. He's just waiting for her to die. But she doesn't want the abusive husband to get it. She's going to leave the money to Denzel. And then there's a fire. And both of them, her and her husband, die in the fire, seemingly. And of course, the obvious suspect is Denzel Washington, the guy who's going to be uncovered in the investigation for having made phone calls, cell phone calls, left messages. Eventually the paperwork naming him recently as her beneficiary will come up. The whole thing begins to unravel and steadily we learn the depths of depravity of how they faked it all. They set him up. They're collecting money from the evidence locker from another case, knowing that they could get him by tugging at his heartstrings to give up that evidence to them and thereby undermine his own career, his ethics, the legal case against a real villain, and they're going to make off with it. And they're going to pin the blame securely on Denzel. And from there, the plot continues to take its turns. It turns out it's all Sana Lathan, or is it? She clearly disposes of her husband, or her husband gets disposed of, and she intends to dispose of Denzel, but she doesn't seem to be a very good shot or bring herself to do it before his soon-to-be ex-wife that never ends up being his ex-wife, Ava Mendez, rescues him. All right, lots of spoilers in there, and I just ruined it for you, right? It's incredible how this film comes together and can give you... It's a classic 
type of storytelling that we don't really see enough of anymore. I mean, we don't see enough quality storytelling at all anymore. But the way that this film gives you surprise after surprise and the way that the actors pull it off, the sense of being out of time, the pressure that you feel palpably on the protagonist as he's trying to at once obscure his wife's investigation from exposing him while he's actually investigating on the down low to clear himself and find out what actually happened. It really is just an amazingly well put together film. It has all of that incredible level of tension and it has a very satisfying ending, well, with one catch, but you can see that. But I can highly recommend it. Denzel Washington, Ava Mendez, John Billingsley, Dean Cain as a bad guy. Sana Lathan from Alien vs. Predator. 2003's Out of Time.